Palestinian people to live. I think that Hamas is just ruining the Gaza Strip. They're ruining the life of people. I know a lot of people that ran away from Gaza. Yeah, and uh, the reason and, why, and the reason why, is because they are just following the Quran. Not necessarily. They just the Quran. The, the Quran tells them to kill the Jews. True. Islam has listen. Islam has been since its inception by uh, uh, by Muhammad a a bloodthirsty, just a violent situation. Okay, um, it, it, Islam is bent on world domination. Okay, why do you think the Crusades happened? Right, because they. If it wasn't for the if the Crusades hadn't been successful, we we in Europe and America we, we we'd be we'd be we'd be uh, praying to Mecca five times a, a day. I mean, no, not really. Okay. You're how are, how are, how how old are you? Uh, me, I'm nineteen. Okay, yeah, you're you're uninformed and you're naive. Okay. Okay. Do you understand that the Muslims? We're invading northward. Okay, Islam uh, is is a a a religion bent on world domination. Okay, now the reason why they they haven't done more than they have is because they they didn't have the technology or the capability. Okay, no. What do you what do you think? Listen, what do you think? Why do you think Iran is trying to develop nuclear weapons? Okay, what what had they actually stated this devout Muslim uh, leadership there? What is their stated purpose? They they want to use the nuclear weapons to annihilate Israel. Okay. No, it's just politics. It's not about religion. One hundred percent about politics. It's not. It's not to annihilate Israel. They saw what Dude, happened. Please, in- please, please fix. Please fix your microphone. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's just that I'm okay. Yeah, uh, it's not because of it's not because of religion. It's just they saw what happened in Iraq. The Saddam regime did not have nuclear weapons. They were toppled over, and they were like, "Okay, we don't want to be toppled like that." So if we develop nuclear weapons, the United no, States. No, sir. Are you are you are you are very naive. Okay. No, I mean you're the one who's buying you, the Obama rhetoric. Are, that like, oh, it's I'm stories. buying what? Wait a minute. I'm buying what rhetoric? The Obama rhetoric. The U.S. companies. The U.S. Uh, Obama, uh, sir, sir, I'm I'm as anti-Obama as they come. No, his administration okay, was the one that was putting okay, full. Okay, why? Listen to me. Why was Saddam Hussein toppled? <sighs> Do you want the real reason or the official reason? Okay, sir. Listen, don't jerk me around. Listen, you're not talking to some other teenager here. Okay, I've had three times your lifespan. Okay, I watched all this stuff before you were alive and while you were picking your nose as a two-year-old. Okay. Now, I'm not trying to throw you under the bus here. I'll ask you again. Why was Saddam Hussein toppled? To destroy the US, a U.S. enemy in the Middle East. Wrong. You don't know what you're talking about, okay? Now. Um, Darth, pardon me for interrupting, but I, yeah. I need to go. Okay. Hey, listen, thank you for your input. Please come again. And uh, I'd like to hear more of your perspective because you're in in the area. Oh. Okay. So, so the other gentleman, okay. Um, when, when, when Saddam Hussein was removed from power, who did that? Uh, the U.S. military. Okay. Can you get close to your mic, please? Yeah, yeah I'm here. I'm here. Okay, under which president? George W. Bush. Okay. What was what was what was the legal basis for them doing so? The uh, what do you call it? The the thought or the presumption that he had weapons of mass destruction. Was that the only reason? That was the main reason. There was a yeah, that was the main reason. I'm not sure if that was the only reason. Probably had was, there, was was there a, was there any other underlying reason? Yeah, he he failed to meet. I believe he didn't allow weapons inspections. So so that that, I mean, yeah, that why, and then why why was that a problem? Well, 
Well, I mean, then then they couldn't confirm that he didn't have them, so it gave them so more. Why, why why would that be a problem? I mean, if they, someone suspects you of having uh, weapons and you don't allow inspectors, it makes well. Other country other countries have have weapons, so and yeah, exactly. Why, that, that, why yeah, would exactly. They, okay, why what? So, so let, let, let's let's see. Have certain weapons that we don't want them to have, and. Yeah, exactly. It wouldn't be a problem had he not been a U.S. enemy, but he is. Well, there are there are other countries that have weapons that we don't want to have. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Because they have yeah they have nuclear okay. weapons and we can't do anything about them, so we don't touch them. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. There's something underlying that that obviously you're unaware of. Do you know what that? I guess you don't know what that is, do you? I mean, no, I don't. Okay. Um, what what was what was the toppling the military uh, name for the toppling of Saddam Hussein called? You mean the the U.S. general at the time? No. What was the title of the military operation? Oof. Uh, it's called Operation <laughs> Iraqi Freedom. Oh, yeah, now, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Now, was there a military operation prior to that? Yes, there was one in 1991, uh, Operation Desert Storm, I believe. Right, right. And what what happened with that? So uh, Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait, and uh, interestingly enough, they had mm -hmm. they had a Kuwaiti girl lie in and testify lie in Congress about okay. Iraqis throwing babies out in Okay, sir, sir, did Saddam Hussein use weapons of mass destructions on the Iranians? Oh yeah, the ones we gave him. Yes, he did. No, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't give him those weapons. He developed himself. Okay. Now, again, um, are you aware of the fact that the United States gave Saddam Hussein some intelligence about movement of troops? Do you know why we did that? Um, uh, is it? I mean, we were we were enemies of Iran at the time, especially considering after the revolution. So I no, think it's do you do you okay? Do you know what the United States foreign policy was in the nineteen eighties? I have a general idea. Yeah. What was it? The nineteen eighties was you know stopping communism. The night then no, I'm t I'm talking about specific to the Middle East. Okay, what was going on in the mid nineteen eighties? Um, in the Middle East. Well, in the mid 1980s, the main issue was the Iranian Revolution. No. The Iranian Revolution happened in the. Um, 79. In, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the 70s, okay? We're talking about the mid 80s. What was going on in the mid 80s, okay, in that region of the world that the United States was directly concerned about in terms of our foreign policy. What what was the policy of the Reagan, Reagan, uh, the Reagan administration trying to facilitate an outcome? Okay, so there Did, was the there was the war in to, Afghanistan between the Soviets uh, and uh, No, sir. No, that's 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 not what we're talking about. I'm talking about with Saddam Hussein. Okay, well then, no, I am do you, not. Do you know? Okay, so yeah, if, I, if you don't know this stuff, it undermines your ability to understand history of, in terms of what you do know, okay? I'll just tell you what it is, okay? The United States foreign policy was that there, uh, that the war between Iraq and Iran would end in a stalemate, okay? Because either one emerging as a victor would, would produce serious problems for the Mideast, Okay. So the reason why Saddam Hussein was given certain intelligence information from time to time was not to aid him in becoming victorious. He was only given certain intelligence information to stop the Iranians from winning and then gobbling up Iraq. Okay, do you understand that? Okay. Now, S Saddam Hussein developed uh, chemical weapons, and he used them against the Iranians, something that even Adolf Hitler didn't do. Saddam Hussein used chemical weapons on his own citizens, 
sarin gas, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is a this is a man who was a bloodthirsty killer and w- was ready and willing to use chemical weapons. When he when he invaded Iran, do you know why he invaded Iran? Wasn't it to reclaim like an Arab province? No. Like- no. There's one single reason why he invaded. Well, I don't know it then. If it's not that okay. Reason. He wanted he wanted to capture their the, the certain oil fields. Okay. That's why he did it. Now, so after that war ended in a stalemate, he was deeply in debt, right? And so his own oil production wasn't going to be sufficient to cover that debt. That's why he that's why he eventually invaded a Kuwait and then he poised his military on the border of Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Arabians were so scared shitless that they invited the infidel Americans to bring their army onto their territory. Now, do you have any idea how scared shitless they would have to be to do that? Yeah, Sir? it was terrifying for them. One of Arab's largest armies just declared war on its neighbors, yeah. Okay, and he was he was amassing weaponry and troops on, on the border. Okay? Now, at that time, do you know who the president was? Of, of, of the U.S.? Yeah, wasn't it uh, Bush Sr.? Yeah, it was, it was Bush Sr., okay? George Bush, along with a coalition of other nations, told him to get his big fat ass out of Kuwait and, and stop his aggression. He didn't comply. So Operation Desert Storm, okay, or excuse me, Operation Desert Shield turned into Operation Desert Storm. And we um, did not obliterate the military entirely because that wasn't the purpose. But we obliterated enough of it so that it no longer posed a threat to us. And George Bush Sr. had to make a, a very difficult decision. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Leave him in power or take him out of power. Okay. So they decided that now that he was emasculated, that it would be better to leave him in power emasculated rather than create a vacuum where a radical group of Muslims could take over um, Iraq. Which um, I don't think was necessarily a bad, a bad decision. When Saddam Hussein surrendered, he signed a surrender agreement that he would comply with all the stipulations. And if he didn't, didn't, we would resume military activity and remove him. Were you aware of that? Uh, yes, I was. Okay. So after, um, Ross Perot ran as an independent to screw George W. Bush uh, from winning, which he would have won had Ross Perot not run. Bill Clinton became the president, okay? A a leftist closet commie type, right? Um, Bill Clinton um, did little to nothing to um, enforce the surrender agreement for seven years and he allowed Saddam Hussein to um, apparently keep on developing, storing, moving around chemical weapons. Right. Bill Clinton stated that he had weapons of mass destruction. Al Gore stated it. All the world's top intelligence services came to the same conclusion, including the Israeli intelligence services. So Operation Iraqi Free, Free, uh, Freedom was a direct enforcement of the surrender terms, okay? Now, the attack on 9-11 um, also helped to motivate uh, the United States to um, want to remove him because he was sympathetic to terrorists. Right. 
So do you understand the background information now? Yes, I mean, I, I understand all the grievances the U.S. had against them. I'm just saying um, the reason Iran wanted a nuclear weapon is to prevent something like that happening to them. No, they're not. That, that's not their main motivation. Their main mo- motivation is complete domination of the region because they're they're rad- radical Islamists. Okay. Do you understand that the ruling mullahs are just extreme uh, Islamic radicalists? Do you understand that they, not only do they want to annihilate Israel, which they have stated a number of times, it is it has been their goal to control that whole area in the Mideast. Okay? They're not, they're not developing these weapons simply to protect themselves. Okay? How come, how come Saudi Arabia isn't developing a nuclear weapon? How come? Um, they have to basically guarantee protection of the United States. So, like, who's going to touch them? No, no, the, no. The, the 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 point the point is is uh, Iran is run and controlled by psycho radical Muslims. Okay. Okay. Wait. Let, let me ask you a question. So, it's completely radical for them to want to dominate their region, as they have been a regional power in that region for millennia, as explained through their history. But the Americans wanting to do dominate their region, that's okay. But they how, are we, how, are we, how, how, how are we dominating their region? Uh, toppling their their neighbor, setting up military bases, basically occupying. That, okay, that's bullshit. Off. That that is that is that is bullshit. They know very well what our foreign policy is and our purposes for doing so. Okay, this is a guy who is a mass murdering psychopath. They know damn well that we did what they couldn't do. And that is remove a mass murdering psychopath who endangered not only the world's uh, uh, supply of energy, oil, but he endangered other people in that region with weapons of, of mass destruction. Okay? They know damn well why we went in there. It was not for us to go and overthrow them. The, re- the main reason why they want nuclear weapons is because they are terrorists at heart. Okay. Do you know that Iran is the largest state sponsor of international terrorism? Did you know that? I mean, sure. Probably the U.S. has them listed. Okay, that sure. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. When you say sure, is that a yes? I mean, the, the word terrorist does not mean much, but yeah, sure. Is that, I mean, uh, yeah, listen, yes. listen, listen, young man, I asked you a question. Do you understand that Iran ever since the Iranian revolution is the largest state sponsor of international terrorism. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is what underlies their mentality for weapons of mass destruction. They're the largest state sponsor of international terrorism. Okay. Mm -hmm. Including the fact that they want to, wipe out Israel. Do you understand that the Iranian mullahs, the government of Iran, want to wipe out Israel? Do you understand that? Do you understand that they have claimed publicly that they will annihilate Israel? Did you know that? Yeah, I, I understand that, yes. There are a no, lot I said, of- did, no, I said, did you know that? Oh, yes, I did. I did. Okay. So we can stop with this this stuff that oh they're just building nuclear weapons because they're fearful. Are you familiar with the situation that's occurring in Yemen? At the moment, or I was mention I was asking. Uh, oh no, me? Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, yes. I am familiar. So, do you not believe that the Houthis are terrorists? How, how are they terrorists? In what way? Um. You know their government structure and how they treat their civilians in that government structure, which is authoritarian and military. So, are you familiar? Because, because authoritarian, it's this. It then becomes a terrorist structure. That's not how. No, it they enslave. The, okay, uh, you don't know. I guess. Never mind. I mean, yeah. Sorry for them resisting. You know, six years of Saudi-led coalition invasion that have killed so many civilians. I mean, if that makes them terrorists, not being a terrorist would be the the wrong thing to be. Look, do you know? Do you know that? 
Do you know why we're dealing now with a potentially nuclear armed Iran? Do you know what? Do you, do you know historically what is the, the root cause of this? Well, yeah, because Trump canceled the Iran deal. What? Okay, you, okay, okay what? listen to me. You are, you are, okay, you are, I don't think you're stupid. I just think that because you're 19 years of age, you're just historically uninformed, okay? The root historical cause of this present situation is Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter was a loser. He was a governor of Georgia. His presidency was a disaster. Okay? Do you know that Jimmy Carter helped to facilitate the Iranian revolution? Did you know that? Did you know that? Sorry, can you repeat that again? Jimmy Carter helped to facilitate the Iranian revolution by his purposeful inaction. Yeah, I did not know that, no. Okay. Now, we live in a, a dangerous world. And sometimes we deal with countries and regions where some of these people are not nice. But you want to know something? Some of these not nice people are a whole lot nicer than some other people. Okay? Now, not to change subjects. Do you know that the Cuban people have been enslaved by Castro since the very early 60s or late 50s? Did you know that? How have they been enslaved? And do you mean that literally or? Okay, they, they are enslaved by a communist dictatorship. Have you, have, you, have you seen what the conditions are there? Do you understand that they are, listen, do you understand if you, go to, if you were to go to Cuba, you will still find numerous cars that look, driving around yeah. that look like they're from the 1950s. And these are not antique collector cars. The reason why they have it is because they can't afford new cars. Okay. So they, do you think, one second. Do now, you think it might have something to do with the decades hey, was, long? Was, was, okay. You see, this is the problem when you only get, when you get propaganda from the left or from your school or from the news media. Okay. You, okay. you, you get duped. Listen carefully. Okay. Listen. Was Fidel Castro a monstrous, murderous dictator? No, he wasn't. Oh, what? my God, bro. What, 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 hold, on a second, hold on a second. What did you say? No, he wasn't. He was okay. a dictator. Right, okay, was okay. You, are, you are a completely ignorant young man. He... he he was a brutal dictator. He killed anyone who opposed him, and those who he didn't kill, he put into jail. He ens he has ens he has enslaved the island. Of Cuba. Do you have any idea what the living conditions were in Cuba prior to Castro coming to power? Yes, it was ruled by. It was a banana republic ruled by Batista, where people okay. were essentially. I didn't. I didn't ask you that. Okay, I said the living conditions. Yeah, it was terrible. No, it was vastly better than what what transpired ever since. Batista was not a good uh, a good guy. Okay, was he a dictator? Yes, but you see, liberals don't liberals don't understand that sometimes. The cure is worse than the disease. Okay? Fidel Castro was many times worse than Batista was. If, if, the, if the Cuban people could have voted at any time during Castro's brutal, murderous reign, right, to remove Castro and go back to the Batista days, they do it in a heartbeat. Okay? Okay? He has ruined, he ruined that once uh, thriving uh, Caribbean island where people would go there for vacationing, entertainment, gambling, okay? Now, 
Why did that happen? It's because JFK didn't have the balls to stop this. Okay? Yeah. And because he didn't have the balls to stop it, all right, then Khrushchev placed missiles in Cuba because he thought Kennedy was ineffectual. And then we had the Cuban Missile Crisis. And then we have documentaries portraying Kennedy as a hero of letting it escalate into an an all-out nuclear war when he was actually the cause of it all. If I could interject real quickly, um, Cuba had the 29th largest economy in the world in 1958 before the revolution. Yeah. Nobody is saying that Batista was Prince Charming, but compared to Castro, he was. Okay? So JFK was ineffectual. All right, why am I mentioning this? Okay? Because there's a pattern in history. Then we come to Jimmy Carter. The Shah of Iran was not a nice guy. Okay? He would jail political opponents, even have them tortured. But he was nowhere near as bad as the religious mullahs. And Jimmy Carter, because he was a dumb leftist, okay, would not help facilitate that the Shah and his regime stayed in power. And basically Jimmy Carter, by his inaction, handed the the country of Iran over to the crazy mu- ra- radical Muslims, right? What they, what they should, what they should have done was assassinate um, Ayatollah Khomeini. Okay. They should, they should have knocked this guy off. Because look, look, look what this guy, by, by not doing, by not knocking off this nutbag, Ayatollah Khomeini. Do you know who Ayatollah Khomeini was? He was the leader of the Iranian revolution, right? Yeah, he was the one who inspired it, okay? He's the inspirational source of it. Now, I... I I don't think the idea of assassination is, is, a, is, a, is a good thing, but sometimes it's a lesser of two evils. And now, because of Jimmy Carter, wouldn't allow the CIA help to um, preserve a, a country that was friendly to the United States, right? We got something vastly worse. It, it's, like, it's like this. You know, your toe gets infected, Right. And the doctor says, look, you know, we should, we should amputate it. Okay. So it you say, oh, well, what about antibiotics? Say, well, this is a kind of infection. We, we think it's a bit far gone, but you see that infection can spread to the rest of your leg. And then you could have your, your foot or your ankle or your lower leg amputated. Sometimes the gruesome things are better than far gruesome things in this, in this nasty world. And so all of the crap that we're dealing with with Iran today, uh, it, 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 a lot of the blame and responsibility goes on Jimmy Carter. Then we, along we come, we we come to Barack Hussein Obama. The worst. Rather, rather than sticking it to the Iranians and bombarding them with every kind of imaginable economic sanctions to cripple their government, to bring down these, these crazies, okay? What does he do? He gives them billions and billions of dollars. He gives them billions of dollars in cash to get them to sign a piece of paper. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Now, do you know who Neville Chamberlain was? Yes, he was the guy that tried appeasing Hitler by giving him more and more territory, and Hitler just wanted right. more and more. Yeah, and, and do you remember Neville Chamberlain coming off the plane, waving the paper, going, we have peace in our time? Yes, he was very okay. naive. Right, and and Barack Hussein Obama, a, 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 a Democratic operative thug out of Chicago, okay, comes into power. And he basically grants the Iranians the ability to continue to enrich uranium, to continue on the path of developing a nuclear weapon. Okay? 
I mean, it, it doesn't get any more Neville Chamberlain th- than, than that. Now, did you know that the Israelis went in and found out the warehouse where they kept all of their nuclear documents? Did you know that? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. You see, you, you're not going to hear about this in the news media, Okay. They went in in, a, in, a, in a, a covert operation through their intelligence sources. They found out what was the secret, top secret location where they stored all of their information, records about their nuclear program. They went in there, and the Israelis were so good, they were able to go in there with trucks and abscond with truckloads full of this documentation. And they brought it back. They copied it. They provided it to the CIA. And the CIA confirmed that all of this stuff was original. The Iranians never stopped their, their nuclear bomb program. It was all a fraud. And yet Barack Obama says, hey, we, 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 have, the, we have this peace treaty. So he gives them unimaginable amount, the, the world's, okay, true or false. Are the Iranian Muslims in the government the largest state sponsor of terrorism in the world? False. Why do you say that? Because they have no money. There's so many other. Okay, big you're you're like... you're 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 a moron. You are an ignorant moron. Wait, who did who did? They actually don't have any money. They have no allies. You're who? you are you are an ignorant moron. Wait, who did stop you go? speaking now? Okay, Guys, listen to what she Who did she say didn't have any money? Uh, Ran. Bro. Ran doesn't have any money. They've been destabilized since before what? Cuba, practically. What? Okay, listen to me what? carefully. How many billions of dollars did Barack oh. Obama give them? Uh, it, was, uh, it was over Hold on a second. Billion. Hey, Bl- no, I'm talking to the ignorant female. Your ego how is much, astounding. How many, how many billions of dollars did Barack Obama give them? He simply he unfroze the office. That's all he did. Doesn't okay, matter. I'm. I'm going to ask you a question. If you don't answer, I'll just server mute you. We'll move on to somebody else. Oh Jesus! I'll leave ego. Your ego. Is well, no, it's not ego. God doesn't no, doesn't like I, your ego. Be okay, full of virtue, okay. darling. Ah, yeah, here we go again. Here we go again. Because she couldn't answer the question. What was her name? Bliss. What? A, what an ignorant moron. Okay. What an idiot. Barack Hussein Obama gives unimaginable amounts of billions of dollars, even a, a hoard of cash. Okay. I think it was a in billion the, dollars in cash. At, at least. In cash. In cash. Not, not including the billions and billions and billions of dollars that he, that he gave them in the frozen assets that were frozen um, – because of the Iranian revolution and the, and the, the psycho mullahs t- took over. So he, he, so he unfroze the assets and he handed that over to the largest state sponsor of terrorism in the world today, because they'll sign a piece of paper saying, Oh, well, we won't enrich uranium uh, to develop nuclear weapons. I mean, it, it, you can't even, you can't even make this stuff up. It's so asinine. It's it's hard to believe that a human being who is the president of the United States could be so stupid as to do something like this. It it's just it's be it's beyond belief. Okay. But leave it to the leftists, the communists, the liberals in the United States. Uh, they never cease to amaze with their level of stupidity. Okay? I- Anyone that says that Iran is not a well-developed Near East country is literally just ignorance. Oh, the Iranian people are very well educated. The the Iranian people were very well educated. It's just I can't believe she's uttered something that retarded. No, she's look, look, it, well, yeah, I guarantee you, she's prob she probably voted for Joe Biden. She probably voted for Hillary Clinton. You know, she's one of these low information leftists. You know who gets who gets her historical and political information from the likes of Rachel Mankow and MSLSD and the Communist News Network.
So even though, let's say, for example, Donald Trump sharply criticized George Bush for, for going in, um, and I think that there's some merit to that, I can see good arguments on, on both sides. But George Bush did not go in there uh, to steal the oil fields, okay? He felt that this was something that it was the lesser of two evils, okay? Now, in retrospective, maybe it would have been better to attempt to cripple Saddam Hussein using uh, other other means, but, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. But you see, if, if, if you just pay attention to MSLSD, CNN, you know, and you just get your information from liberal sources, you're not going to have all the facts. Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, okay, I definitely do agree that Obama appeasing them was definitely not the right decision. But do you think forcing them into a corner where basically all they can do is essentially, you know, like it's like, you know, when you back a dog up to a corner, it's going to bite you, whether it wanted to or not. That's, you think that's that not, that, 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 is, that is not what's going on here. What we have are crazy, psycho Muslim clerics running the government, sir. Do you understand that? I get that. But what I'm saying is, do you right. think there's a middle ground and it's not either one you, or I, get, I, get, I, get, I guess you don't understand here, okay? The only thing very dangerous people respect is a gun pointed right at their head, Okay. These are not people who are behaving the way the way they are because they're fearful. Okay. The okay the Soviet the, the 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 Russians the Soviet Union did not gobble up country after country after country because they were scared. Okay. This there there is this approach by liberals and leftists. They have complete amnesia for history. They, they just, they call good evil, evil good. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's hard to believe what I'm saying because it sounds so extreme, but it, it's easily defensible. I mean, we have a long history of just absolute incompetence on the part of democratic elected administrations. Did you know that Truman did not want to drop the bomb on China? I mean, Japan. Did you know he didn't want to do it? He didn't want to do it? Uh, no. no, I did not. No. And do you know why he did it? Because he, he, was, he, was, he was told, you ready for this? He was told, if you don't do this and it will end the war quickly, you will not be reelected. Okay. Now, do you remember, did you ever see the movie Zero Dark Thirty? I've never even heard of that movie. Right. I, I, you haven't seen it? Never even heard of it, let alone seen it. Okay, Zero Dark Thirty is a, um, a movie that depicts the hunt for Osama bin Laden. I really recommend that you watch it, okay? All right, I'll look at it. Now, of course it's a movie, it's not 100% accurate. But most of the details are correct. When we found out where Osama bin Laden was, Barack Obama did not want to take him out. Did you know that? Um, no, actually, I didn't. No. Okay. But I'm not a huge supporter of You know why? Do you know? Okay. So, and by the way, even though I sharply disagree with you, and may criticize some of the things you say, I at least respect that you're trying to be intelligent and you you are actually interested in politics and world affairs. I think that's good, okay? I just, I just disagree with certain things. Barack Obama did not want to kill Osama bin Laden. He didn't want to do it. Do you know what finally made him decide to do it? This isn't going to be reported on MSNBC or the Communist News Network or any of the other crap house news outlets, ABC, NBC, CBS. Do you have any idea why he made the decision? Probably to get reelected, to be honest. That's right. You're right. 
Leon Panetta was the head of the CIA, another Democrat, but a Democrat who, what I know about him in past administrations, he was far more cerebral and less crazy than other Democrats. Leon Panetta went to Barack Obama as the head of the CIA and he said, listen, if you don't order him being taken out, it will leak and you will not get reelected. Same thing that happened with Truman. Okay. Same thing with, with, with Kennedy. Kennedy had promised that he was going to give air support to the um, expatriate Cubans who were going to invade at the Bay of Pigs, and he didn't. He wussed out, okay, because he was afraid that if it didn't go successfully, that it might undermine his reelection. So that's why Barack Obama finally ordered it. And then he struts on camera, you know, like he's big man on campus. I ordered the killing of Assad. He, he didn't want to do it. Did you know? Did you know that the when the planes flew into the World Trade Center, that that was the second attack on the World Trade Center? I actually don't know that, no. Yeah, you're not going to hear that from MSNBC, MSLSD, the Communist News Network. Bro, I don't it watch this, it either. It was the second. Okay, well, the first attack was in 1993, where the um, Al Qaeda terrorists drove in with a massive bomb, hoping to knock out one of the corners of the skyscraper, causing it to topple. And if it had toppled, it would have been as equally disastrous, if not worse, than 9 11. Okay. Um, who was president in 1993? Clinton. Bill Clinton, yeah. And uh, what did Bill Clinton do for seven years to go after Al Qaeda when they declared war on the United States? Probably nothing. Yeah. Did you know that on September 10th, 2001, Bill Clinton was in Australia and he gave an interview? I heard the recording of it. Right? And this is what he said. He goes, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I could have killed Osama bin Laden, you know, but, uh, you know, I would have had to kill some innocent people, you know. Yeah, well, 3,000 Americans and un untold numbers of other people who had their lives irreparably damaged died because of his inaction. Did you know that during his two terms, the Sudanese government offered Osama bin Laden on a silver platter to him in order to gain favor with the United States? And Bill Clinton said in an interview, well, you know, we, we, we didn't have a legal basis to take him. Again, I don't like Bill Clinton at all, but yeah, he probably says something like that, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I did not, I, I did not lie. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. <laughs> His, his presidency was a uh, interesting. <laughs> String. That's not even a relevant fucking fact check, bro. You, number one. Say that again. Uh, number one, the people that are he's posting in guest text saying that what you said is incorrect. But who? Bill Clinton and any U.S. president has the ability to kill anyone on the face of the earth at any given time. If there's an enemy to the state of the United States, that person will have absolute access to kill that human being. Saying Same. otherwise is just Clinton. not intelligent. Bill Clinton had multiple opportunities to kill the head of a major terroristic organization that had declared war in the United States. Okay? And he didn't. Um, is uh, Darth, is String allowed to talk in this room? Yeah. Okay. 
And I also don't understand how that source would be relevant because I'm sure the people writing factcheck.org have no access to any information. Oh, factcheck.org. What a bunch of garbage. That's like PolitiFact, please. That's like like people who think Scopes is a legitimate fact-checking site. Every word in that source has no... It's a non sequitur because no one in there has the authority to classify that information. Coming from someone that does have access to classified information, I can tell you without a doubt, not breaking my code. I sounds. heard Bill Clinton. I heard, hey, hey, String. I heard Bill Clinton on a recording myself, okay? When he was in Australia, that he could have, he could, he knew where he was. And he could have dropped bombs and killed him, and he didn't. Okay. Hey, String, did the Sudanese government have uh, um, Bin Laden under house arrest? Did the Sudanese government offer him to Clinton three times, and Clinton declined? Yeah. No, what, what, what we see by repeated, not that Republican in, in administrations are perfect and can't be criticized, but the Democratic administrations are vastly, vastly worse. You know, Brock, you know Richard Nixon had to resign because when he found out that some of the uh, underlings had tried to break into a psychiatrist's office just to find some dirt on the Democrats at the Watergate Hotel and and, and Nixon tried to cover up. They were going to impeach him. Barack Obama uh, knew that the Steele dossier was a complete fraudulent doc- uh, document. It was used by, under the approval of Barack Obama, um, through uh, James uh, Comey, who also knew it was a fraudulent doctrine doc- document, and they went to the FISA court knowing that it was a fraud to get the FISA court to approve surveillance so that they could spy on the, their political presidential opponent. Right, and people still bro- think Barack Obama is is a good guy. And the, and the news media, with few exceptions, completely covers up for this guy. I mean, I don't think some of you young people have any idea of what's going on right now, okay? So, for example, you know, um, the Democrats want to to have a federal takeover of the rules and regulations of the elections in the states. You know why? So that they can facilitate situations to allow massive and easy cheating on a wide scale, which will ensure the Democratic Party's complete control in perpetuity for generations to come. Well, come November... The Lord willing, if the Republicans take control of the House of Representatives, which it looks like they will, I'm really looking forward to their impeaching that that scumbag's rear end, Joe Biden, for the crook that he is and for his malfeasance. And hopefully they can impeach Kamala Harris, too. I mean, just look at the Democratic Party today. Every single one of the Democrat congressmen, with I think one or two exceptions, all voted to impeach Donald Trump twice on completely illegal and unconstitutional grounds. They're using the impeachment uh, in the in the in the uh, Constitution as a political weapon.
Anyway, let's get off the topic of politics. Let's talk about something fun, like why atheists are incompetent and incoherent when it comes to their atheism. Anybody want to chime in on that? 